Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. You may have noticed now that you have all three Pikmin colors that the challenge mode has been unlocked, which is something that I'll do up in the optional stuff later on after I finish the main story game here. And I'm going to start. I have a bunch of checkpoints on my save files here. Yeah, I copy save files off to these uh, two here as I go along. So I always have a way to know that my recording, you know, I can redo days if I need to, if my recording fails or something like that. Anyway, let's start to go back to the impact site. Yeah, believe it or not, this that is where I'm going today because... This place is spectacular, and I'm going to show you why. Look at all those pellets that you see around this area now. They were in here before, now were they? And that is why I'm here. I'm going to be breeding a load of Pikmin, because there are now a ton of ways to do it in this area. This is by far the best area in the game to get Pikmin from. And also, there's also a bunch of nectar. You take that back to the onion. And I would like them to get that blue pellet, if at all possible. If you guys don't mind. That nice, delicious 10 pellet over there. Yeah, I think they're gonna do it automatically, actually. And... Oh, wait, wait, I should, have... I should have others on the field here, so I don't have to... pluck them from the ground. Ugh, I forgot the basics! I forgot the basics! <laughs> um, actually, I wonder if I should have... Some yellows. I'll put 15 back in there so I can have some yellows. I don't need all that many... Like, all that many yellows for the entire game. <laughs> uh, didn't you guys... Oh, there you go. I was gonna say, where were you with that blue pellet? Now well, it's gonna bring up numbers... Oh, uh, what? Didn't he discover this before? Huh? Up. Whatever. <laughs> I'm gonna give these guys nectar if I can. Not bad. There's some more grass over here. And oh yeah, I do need yellow for the bomb rocks knocked on a wall a little bit later. There's also two optional mini bosses that you can uh, fight later on in this area, but I'll do that in ye old op optional extras later on in the walkthrough. For now, I'm just going to keep the usual pace going on here. And... where? Where's the rest of my... Oh, they're all up there. <laughs> you guys! Why are you slacking off? How do I get that one up there? <laughs> well, that, might, that one might be lost or something for good, I don't know. I guess we shall see on how things go. Anyway, oh, there's a another iridescent flint beetle. Attack it! And it's got barely any treasures inside of it whatsoever, of course. Why would there be something for my effort? <laughs> uh, I'm going to use... No, I don't want the blue. These. I need the yellows. Here's the bomb rocks. They're now inside this box for whatever reason. I don't know how they got there or... Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, let's get them and take them over to this wall. Uh, I think you know what's coming. Because these rock walls. Yep. Need the assistance of bombs. And there we go. These enemies over here, known as Pearly Clam Clamps. I could use these bomb rocks on, actually. Uh, what'll happen is that if you throw a Pikmin on there, they'll actually they'll try and... Eat it like that, but you want to get the Pikmin out of there in time before they uh, close up on the Pikmin and eat them. Come on, throw it in there. Kill it off. No! It's suicided. Anyway, this pearl right here, the reason why I wanted to do that was because, guess how much this pearl is worth? Just take a guess. If you guessed 50 Pikmin, you would be correct, yes! They have the potential to breed that many Pikmin at once. Oh, I didn't mean to drop that. But I guess it doesn't really matter anyway, because these other two pearly clam clamps are in uh, in the water, and I need the blues to take care of them anyway. 
so I can't use the bomb rock capabilities of the Pikmin. Alright, you guys take that back. Um, Reds, you're with me. I'm gonna come up here with them. By the way, there's only one ship part to get this part, so the rest of the stuff that I'm gonna be doing here is breeding Pikmin. Very, very, very worth doing. Uh, it's, just, it's especially worth getting that uh, blue pellet over there, but only if you uh, are able to get the ship part and the other pearl back to the onion, obviously. So I got 34 here, and oh, I'll let you guys go through. My bad. <laughs> I don't care if those two could jump on it. Oh, no, they didn't. Okay. Come up here. It's kind of hard to get them up that slope, especially when you are in like a really big group. They tend to like fall off the edges and go in the box. It's kind of annoying. Uh, okay, I'm gonna focus on the ship part here. This is... Oh, I can't check it right now, can I? Alright, here's the strategy. Throw a couple of them on there. Pull them off. Let it close. Throw a bunch on there. Call them off. Let it close. And rinse and repeat. Come on, go, 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 go. Attack the ship parts. Well, it's actually loosening the ship part. It's not really attacking the clam or the ship part. It's just they're just kind of loosening it because they, you know, how clams attach whatever they pearl up inside them to their tongue. And pull them off. No, I was too late. No. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Your sacrifice will not be in vain. Yeah, this can take a while to, to do, so... Just gotta be patient, otherwise you're gonna lose some Pikmin. <laughs> like I did. Uh, I didn't get any attacks on that whatsoever. Alright, just get up there. Oh, and in case you don't realize this, if it's not painfully obvious, I am using the uh, GameCube version of the game to make this walkthrough, not the Wii one. So you can tell that I don't have free control over my cursor there. And be careful to get them off the clam, even after you get the pearl or whatever is out off of them, because they can still kill Pikmin in their dying death animation, whatever. So this is the positron generator. By combining batteries with solar cells, this machine can generate incredible amounts of electricity. What a timely find. Those instant space noodles will taste better heated up. <laughs> and we need 20 for this. And I'm going to take a couple guys off this so I can take on this clam. Just a couple. Oh, too many. Um, 7, 18, 19, 20. Good. Okay, I'm going to use the rest for this pearl. Because I really don't need more than what I have here for the clams, because it's really risky to throw too many Pikmin up on there at once, you know? Obviously. Attack. Pull out. These pearls, very, very worth getting. Take the time to do so. You will not be disappointed. I wonder if I should get my team up on that ledge. This is it's really annoying to keep sliding down the slope here. But, but this is working, I suppose. Get it off, get it off. As you can see, the clams lure things with their shininess, their irresistible shininess, into their mouths for the death trap of doom. Yes, got it. Take this back, please. And you can break down that wall and get stuff back to the base a little bit faster if you want to. But I don't really think it's necessary, especially when you could be focusing on getting other stuff back. Uh, they're nearly back to the base. Well, they are back to the base, but what I mean is they're nearly back to the ship to bring the part back, and then I'm going to take my blue team to get that 20 pellet. In case you don't realize, what I'm doing here is I am trying to get the blue numbers up because I couldn't really do so in the last part. This electric generator is so powerful that if you approach it carelessly, you'll get an electric shock. I have now re recovered 10 out of 30 parts. If I can just find two more, I should be able to increase my ship's capabilities. And visit a new area. <laughs> uh, you know what? I guess you guys can attack that. I don't mind. Ooh, I'm going to grab a red. You have to be touching a color in order for you to grab that color from your uh, Pikmin arsenal. Basically. Blue, please. Boop. 
Yes, I will grab all my Pikmin at the uh, sunset. I just want to get as many Pikmin as I possibly can this day. Uh, dismiss. I have 20 with me, right? Yeah, 23. That's great. Because all I want from this area now is that blue pellet. And then the rest of the stuff I'm going to focus on are going to be around the base area, of course. So they're going to take that back. All the clams are cleared out. And I think I am good to go now. Needless to say, my Pikmin counts. Yeah! <laughs> very, very handy. Make sure you don't have any Pikmin inside that box, too. That's a really easy place to lose Pikmin. Um, okay, you bring that back, because why not? This, this day is for breeding Pikmin, basically. I should also pluck as many of the Pikmin out of the ground as I can, because I will not be back here after this day unless I feel a need to uh, get more Pikmin for whatever reason. Which I don't think I will after this. <laughs> I mean, let's just look at things realistically here. I just want to get them all out of the ground to be sure. Here comes the 20 pellet. Uh, where? That one's further away than I thought it was. Um, in, in the Wii version, you're able to switch colors by pressing a certain button. I don't know which button it is because I don't have that version, so I don't know that, that sort of stuff. But uh, you can't change colors while holding a Pikmin uh, in the GameCube version. You have to actually back off from whatever Pikmin you're holding by you're th throwing in or dropping or whatever. And then uh, going through your Pikmin arsenal to grab the colors. When you grab a color... You'll notice that all the colors that you're holding automatically team up behind you so that you keep grabbing that one color. And, oops, I wanted to get the blues off that. You know what? Actually, it doesn't really matter at this point, does it? I've got plenty of everything. No, 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 come on, Karen. Don't do that. Please don't do that. And I want... I want... No, not, not that. <laughs> Blue, please. There we go. Yellow, please. There we go. That's the way it's done. Smashing up the colors for maximum Pikmin outputs. Um, I sound like some sort of DJ, I don't know. Anything up there? There's a yellow. Oh, maybe I should be focusing on those... Those big 10 pellets that were way up there. No, I don't care what you guys bring it back at this point. I've got plenty of everything. <laughs> I wonder if I'll be able to get that blue up there. That's kind of sitting in purgatory right now. Because the only way to get those pellets up there are if you um, get Pikmin off that stick and then they automatically go over to the pellets up there. But I don't think... Unless I can walk up here? Can I walk up here? I don't think I'm capable of walking up there. That's what I'm worried about. Yeah, I don't think I can. I can get these. But that, that blue one there, <laughs> I think he's doomed. How many do I have right now? 85, 93, 98, where's the last one? I know there's one up on top, but oh, there it is. So I guess we're going to lose that one blue because I can't do anything with it. Boop. I don't, oh, I guess I'll grab these. I don't really care what colors grab them. I'm just trying to get as many as I can at this point. Uh, I guess I can switch a blue for that one. Oh, come on. You're seriously telling me I didn't throw that far enough. <laughs> I can't throw that far from that angle, can I? <sighs> Fine. There. Happy now. Sometimes the game just will not cooperate. <laughs> so yeah, I think I'm going to end up losing that blue because of the very game mechanics that I'm limited to. If, if this was the Wii version, I'd be able to get that blue one up there. And I think I'd also be able to get those... Oh! How did I not notice that jet before? Okay, that makes a lot more sense now. So everyone, let's see if we can get those pellets. <laughs> I might have a shot at doing this after all. I totally forgot about that jet. Alright, everyone together. Okay, everyone up here. Separate colors. It's fine, I guess. You all the way over. Oh wait, wait. 
Wrong color. Um. Oh geez, <laughs> everyone's getting all together, but I don't really want that to happen. But you know what? I'm I'm running low on time, and I don't really have time to mess around with this sort of thing at this point. So I'm just gonna let them bring it back to whatever they please, I guess. No, don't hit the jet on the way down. I missed it multiple times, and now I'm hitting the jet every time. <laughs> um, looks like everyone's at base, so everything should be fine. So look at the Pikmin counts go up. And how many do we have? 100! Yay! Can I get them all back in the onion in time? For the fun of it! I don't know, I'm just kind of creating challenges for myself every time at sunset for no reason whatsoever. Oh, no. <laughs> Too bad. But how about that for a day? Tons of Pikmin breeding. One ship part. Incredibly profitable. Woo! That also means that this, uh, the impact site here, it is 100% complete. You do not have to go back here whatsoever. Though, if you are ever running low on Pikmin here, um, you can come back here to breed a bunch more because the pellets and stuff like that will be back. But otherwise, yeah, you don't have to come back here at all. Uh, as I said, there are two optional mini-bosses that you can come back here for, which I, I will show uh, for the fun of it. But, as I said, you don't have to if you don't want to, it's just... It's just there. Oh, horrors! A bomb rock explosion engulfed my Pikmin! At last, horrified facial expression is burned into my memory. I must review my procedures for handling Pikmin with bomb rocks so that I do not repeat this mistake. And I press A to throw Pikmin who are carrying bomb rocks and call them back with B. They drop their bomb rocks and come back. But it's funny, they don't do that all the time though. It's like they do what they want when it comes to bomb rocks. That's why I was confused in the other parts as to how to get them to drop bomb rocks every time. <laughs> so yeah, he just recapping them. I've already showed that before. Look at the numbers! <laughs> just look at the stats go up there. Yeah, today was a great day. <laughs> 204 sprouted today alone. And just think, if I had, if I wasn't, you know, like messing around there trying to figure out how to get up to that ledge and I was able to have time to separate the colors and stuff like that, I would have gotten even more out of that. Just think about that. But I think I have plenty for the entire game. Well, maybe I'll breed some more blues along the way, but otherwise my numbers are pretty solid right now. Anyway, I'm going to save the game and end off this part. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part.